Hi everyone, it's Tanya Tomic, and today I am trying out the Vampira palette from Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. Um, I've been eyeballing this for quite a while now, and finally I picked it up. They had a sale, so I picked it up, and um, I adore it. I ha already have the Elvira palette, and uh, did a review on that, and I'll link that below. And uh, recently they had a sale, so I picked up the Vampire palette. And I also picked up um, this empty palette. This is only $10. And what it is, it has a little mirror. It's this empty palette. And I had I have some broken shadows that I went ahead and repressed into there. You get a pressing tile. Um, you get one pressing. Oh, and if you take the pans out, there's like little imagery underneath that's like dark and creepy and cute. Um, you get a pressing tile for the round and for the um, rectangular. This is my own because um, I was using it to mix the shadows. Um, but it's got the second drawer here and you can see the pressing tile for the rectangle shadows there. Um, so it's got the drawer and the top and it's really great if you are depotting or for me um, dealing with broken shadows, trying to repress those and um, it's, they're not huge pans, you know, so it's not for depotting um, a huge amount of shadows, but, um, you know, for me, I get broken ones now and again, or, or broken singles, and I could definitely use this. And it's $10, so I'm really happy to have that. So, on to today's review. Vampira. Graveyard Glamour, five fiendish shades. It's vegan and cruelty free. All Lunatic Labs Cosmetics is vegan and cruelty free. Um, this is the back of the package. It shows you the different colors here and um, the ingredients and everything. And it's got beautiful packaging. I usually if I usually throw out these um, unless it's a I'm gonna be traveling or it's like a delicate palette, but I am definitely keeping this box. So this is the palette here, tombstone shaped. It's got Vampira on the front. Um, the back has the ingredients and the shades. And here is the inside. Um, you've got Vampira, you've got the mirror, a little bat there. Um, this illustration, and you've got your shades here. And there's five of them. Uh, this is normally $35. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I did get it on sale. Um, the Elvira one actually what was on sale for nine, so I don't know if it's still on sale for nine, um, but if you get a chance to pick that up for nine, that's a really good deal. Um, so here are the shades, and I'll just go ahead and I will swatch them. So uh, Velvet Moon here is this light gray, very light gray. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of a light shimmer to that. And then untarnished is a straight up silver. Sort of light silver there. Not too light. So it's really reflecting, but um, very pretty. And then Astro Vamp is this really dark purple. And it's got sort of a copper reflect. That is so pretty. They're so pretty. Um, Necromancer there is a, it's like a brown, mossy brown shimmer. There, oh wow, that's really pretty. Um, I actually have been working through another color like this that I was almost finished with. So it's really nice to have this as a replacement. Ne I was Necromancer there. That's a brown, mossy brown. And then Nefarious is this last one here. It's a black almost. I thought it was a green, but it's like kind of black with green sparkles. But these are the color swatch right there. So as you can see, they all are colors that complement each other and go well together and it's what I'm wearing now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did to test these out and and how I got this look 
Okay, so first I'm gonna go into Velvet Moon. That is a gray, very light gray. Um, I'm gonna see if that will work for a nice transition color. I think it should. I have my eyes primed with Nomad Cosmetics Eye Primer. And I find that a lot of companies that make primer that also do shadow, a lot of times their shadows work best with their primer. So I feel like the Nomad shadows really shine when you use the Nomad primer. And um, I also feel that way about Medusa's makeup. Their eyeshadows work really, really well with their primer and way better than they work with other primers. I feel like they're formulated for their own shadows. Okay, so that is a very nice light gray. So I'm gonna go with Necromancer. Just adding a little bit to the crease. I'm gonna blend it up a little bit. This is a really nice color. Just adding a little bit more. Sort of making a nice gray shimmer with, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but a little bit of like purpley copper tone to it. I'm gonna take Astro Vamp, and I'm going to use that to deepen the outer V here, the corner. Just taking a clean, fluffier brush to blend that out. Okay, so far these colors are blending really well without wiping away. And it's creating a, a, a kind of soft blended look that I like. I'm gonna try to put Nefarious on the lid actually. I'm gonna do dark lid action with this. I didn't realize how dark Nefarious is. It's almost a black. Uh, I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. And I, I like that. It, it's sort of a darkish look, but I do like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go back into the, the Astro Vamp and stamp it on my lower lash line. Just gonna blend the silver a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put on liner, mascara, the whole bit, and come back. Okay, so here it is, and I really like the finished look. It's um, kind of a smoky, silvery, purple-ish look. Um, and I, I think that the purple doesn't really translate that well on the camera, and neither does the green. I think everything ends up looking just smoky gray. But um, in person, there's a little bit more purple, a little subtle hint of purple, subtle hint of green, and I really like it. I think it looks really great, really, really easy to work with, and um, yeah, no problem. It came out looking good really simply. It was easy to figure out what kind of look to make using these colors, and um, you know, there's other looks that I could do, but this was kind of like a really simple, basic, kind of no-brainer look from these colors here. Um, what do I think of the palette? I mean, I obviously I really love the 
the artwork. I think it's so beautiful. Um, the colors, the shadows really are quite lovely and very easy to work with. Um, I thought that they were easier than the Elvira palette. I like it a little bit better than the Elvira palette. The Elvira palette makes a lot of sense as far as it being Elvira. Plus there's the blush, which is really nice. Um, but I lean more towards these colors as far as getting looks out of these colors. So um, I like this one more than the Elvira palette, but I, although I do like the Elvira palette. Um, anyway, yeah, so if you're wondering about how well this works and if you're interested in it, um, I would definitely say it is, it does work. It's worth the money. The shadows are good in this one. So um, I recommend it if you are interested in it already. So um, I recommend Lunatic Cosmetics. They're very, very good, uh, cruelty free and vegan. So I recommend Lunatic Labs Cosmetics. They're cruelty free and vegan and their stuff is very good. Their uh, packaging is high quality and beautiful. And um, yeah, recommend it. Um, anyway, that's it for today, and thanks for watching.